Movie buffs, welcome back to the Movie Bay. This is Day. In today's video, we're going to do a little what not pickup slash CD outlet. CD outlet is like a little mom and pop shop around my way. It's, you know, around my way in my neighborhood where I live. Um, I picked up a few things from there and uh, I picked up quite a bit on whatnot. It was all, all of this stuff was between $1 and $3 from whatnot. I went into a couple of different streams and I got some more common titles and some DVD upgrades. I wanted to upgrade a couple of DVDs. And I can usually do that on whatnot when I can catch the, like the one, the one, two, and three dollar streams. It makes it really easy to, to get some upgrades. And if you buy enough, you get that reduced shipping. So it's really worth it if you use whatnot, if you, especially if you want to upgrade some of your DVDs. And then from CD, uh, CD Outlet, I picked up, I think, eight titles. So without further ado, let's dive in and take a look at this. I got from C. This is some from CD Outlet, and theirs is two for eight. So I got the Bye Bye Man. I heard it was trash, but eh, I said I'll I'll just pick it up and check it out. It don't look all that great, but Pickens was slim that day. The possession, well, possession with Sarah Michelle Geller. This one wasn't too bad. I seen this one before. It wasn't too bad. It wasn't groundbreaking, but it wasn't too bad. I seen this one before too. This is a Guy Pierce movie. It was all right. I, you know, it was it was a cheesy little watch. I didn't have a problem with it. And this lockout. Guy Pierce was like this space tough guy. It was all right. It was pretty decent. It was a good watch. And this one, I gotta get the first one. I seen the first one, but I don't have it in my collection. But I did see this one for sale. So I said I'll get this one, then I'll get around to getting the first one. And this one is the Brotherhood of Blades 2. They put stickers on the artwork over there at CD Outlet on the slip covers. I hate that. At least put it on the back if you got to do that, but that's just what they do. And this one is one that I saw years ago, and it was a fantastic movie, and I enjoyed it, and I picked it up as soon as I saw it. Kidnapping Mr. Heineken with uh, Anthony Hopkins. Fantastic movie. I really, really like that one. Here's one with John Travolta and Morgan Freeman, The Poison Rose. I did not see this one, but it looks fantastic. And here's Jezebel. And here's one. This is a classic from back in the day. Uh, John Travolta and Christian Slater, Broken Arrow. So those are from Compactus Outlet. Some pretty decent titles there. Nothing groundbreaking, but some decent ones. And here's what I got from Whatnot. Now, I saw this movie not too long ago on a streaming service. This is a Toby Hooper film. And it is uh, starring legendary Clancy Brown. This one is called... Wait a minute. Is this the one? Wait a minute. Yes, this is... Wait a minute. Hold on. No, this isn't the one that I saw. Okay, never mind. Mortuary. I saw a movie that I thought was that was with Clancy Brown, and he was like a caretaker of like a funeral home, and it was it was it was crazy. And I thought this was it, but it's not. This is something different. So I'm dying to check this one out now. This one is called Mortuary. This is a Toby Hooper film. Yeah, I thought I saw that, but um, no, that's not it. Um, here's one that me and my wife we actually watched this one today. And this is a pretty good one. This is a special edition of My Bloody Valentine. Uh, let's see. I think. Into the Storm. Here we go. This is a Western. A supernatural. I think this is like a supernatural Western. And it's called The Pale Door. This one looks pretty interesting here. It's called The Pale Door. Robert De Niro and Zac Efron and Dirty Grandpa. I try to jump on De Niro's whenever I can. The Tupac biopic, All Eyes on Me. I wasn't really a fan of this one, but I wanted it because it's a biopic. And I, and, I, and I do like to collect biopics too. Um, Hocus Pocus. This is a fun movie. It's just a fun movie. It was cheap, so I grabbed it. Um, Ryan Gosling and Kristen Scott Thomas and Only God Forgives. I didn't see this one, but Gosling, he's okay. I don't have a problem with Gosling. He, he's in some good stuff. 
Here's one from back in the day. And I'm dying to get the second one. Curly's Gold. This is Billy Crystal, Billy Crystal, Daniel Stern, and Bruno Kirby in City Slickers. Um, for real, City Slickers. This is a good one. I want to get the uh, second one and add that one into my collection too. Curly, I think it's called Curly's Gold. Here we got Natalie Portman in Black Swine. Another Liam Neeson for the Liam Neeson collection. A Walk Amongst the Tombstones. A lot of these got slip covers too. So, and here's a upgrade. This is a DVD upgrade. No Country for Old Men. I mean, the DVD, I watch this movie probably once, twice a year. If it's not on the streaming service, which a lot of times it's not. Sometimes it is, sometimes it's not. I'll just pop in my DVD. I'm glad to have it on Blu-ray. Mark Wahlberg, The Italian Job. Charlize Theron. We have Disturbia. And these are DVD, these are the DVD upgrades. So, what is it? Okay, Disturbia, that's a DVD upgrade. No Country for Old Men, that's an upgrade. And The Italian Job, that's an upgrade. Here's another one. Ian McGregor and Scarlett Johansson, The Island, upgrade. Here's an upgrade that is very welcome. Is because it's an older movie. It's one of my favorite movies. Definitely my top three favorite cigar movie. This is Out for Justice. This is a welcome Blu-ray upgrade, DVD, uh, DVD upgrade, welcome edition. Uh, here's another one, Tropic Thunder, welcome upgrade. And this one is by far overdue. This is way overdue for upgrading my collection, Castaway. This one here is a four pack of movies that I'm not particularly interested in, but it was cheap. And my wife used to love the TV show when it was out. And I said, she might find some value in entertainment. And this, her and my daughter might find some entertainment in that. And this is a four pack and it was three bucks. So I said, okay, why not? You got Sex in the City, one, two. You got uh, New Year's Eve and Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day, I actually got that one on, on a DVD. So that's an upgrade. And this is a, a space saver. So four movies, not movies that I'm particularly wanting to see, but uh, for, for my wife and daughter, there might be some value here. Um... Here's a welcome upgrade for 13 Ghosts. This is a double pack with 13 Ghosts and House of Wax. A definite upgrade for me on that one. Now, I'm thinking about... Um, I think the set that I have for 13 Ghosts... Hold on here. I think if this is a single disc, then yeah, that's cool. Oh, yeah, single disc. So all the special features should be on that Blu-ray. I know sometimes with the, when you go from the Blu-ray to the... Um, when you go from the DVD to the Blu-ray, you lose a lot of features, a lot of the special features. For example, the um, Dawn of the Dead. I got rid of my DVD set, which I could easily get it again. That That's everywhere. I can walk into any mom and pop store and get it again if I want it. But I will probably get it just for the bonus disc and do what Huck does over there with the Huck Huck Stimations and kind of make a, a, a special set out of that with the bonus disc with the Blu-ray. So I'm thinking about doing something like that. Huck, that's some good stuff you got going over there. You guys got to go over there and check out Huck's Pop Culture. He does these. He, uh, he, In fact, he just done one. I think I, the last video I watched from him was today where he did a customization on his um, Hollow Man. It was it was really good. Okay, last, last we just got two more here. So this is a, a welcome upgrade. This is Man on Fire and Out of Time, a Denzel double pack. And then I got this Children of the Corn and Sleepwalkers. I have all the Children of the Corn movies except for this first one because I bought them all in like a four or five pack. It was like a five pack and it had all these, it had I think two, three, four, and five in that in that multi-pack, but it didn't have this one. So I'm very happy to have this one in my collection. This is by far the best one. And that's everything. So let's go ahead and recap this one and close it out. So we got the, the Sex in the City four pack, we call it, even though it's only two Sex in the City movies. Um, a Liam Neeson for the Liam Neeson collection, A Walk Amongst the Tombstones. And Liam Neeson, there's a few there's a few uh, actors in my collection that are becoming collectible, like Nicolas Cage. Liam Neeson is becoming a collectible. Uh, there's a lot of others who are already collectible. To me, I buy them on site. But Liam, he's starting to become a collectible. Black Swan, Natalie Portman is also becoming somebody who I want to collect more of. 
John Travolta and uh, Christian Slater and Broken Arrow. Jezebel. The Poison Rose. That looks really good, too. I saw the trailer for it. It looks really good. The Kidnapping of Mr. Heineken. Brotherhood of Blades 2. I got to get the first one. Lockout. Guy Pierce is already very collectible to me. The uh, Not the, but it's just called Possession with Sarah Michelle Geller. The Bye Bye Man. I heard it was trash, but we'll see. City Slickers. I'm definitely trying to get City Slickers 2 Curly's Gold. Only God Forgive. Hocus Pocus. All eyes on me. I saw this and I it was all uh, it was all right. It was just all right. As far as like rapper biopics, it was just all right. Notorious was the better film. I could I and I mentioned Notorious because you know it's Tupac and Biggie. That's just a few that's gonna always be. Dirty Grandpa. De Niro is somebody who's very collectible. Also, The Pale Door. Into the Storm. My Bloody Valentine Special Edition in a Red Case. That's a pretty decent little 80s horror movie, for sure. It's decent. Mortuary. I thought I saw this, but it wasn't this. It was something else. I'm going to have to watch this one. 13 Ghosts in House of Wax. Children of the Corn and Sleepwalkers. Man on Fire and Out of Time. Castaway. Tropic Thunder, Out for Justice, The Island, The Italian Job, No Country for Old Men, and Disturbia. So that's everything that I picked up from Whatnot slash CD Outlet. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.